All right, chapter 18, the endocrine system. A lot of times people <clears throat> don't fully understand the endocrine system. So it's one of those systems like the lymphatic system that goes under the radar, but when something goes wrong, you really know how important this system is. Um, so chapter 18, endocrine system, identify the endocrine glands and their hormones, gain an understanding of the functions of these hormones in the body, analyze medical terms related to the endocrine glands and their hormones, identify abnormal conditions resulting from excessive and deficient secretions of endocrine glands, uh, describe lab tests and clinical procedures related to endocrinology and recognize relevant abbreviations, and apply your knowledge to understanding medical terms in proper contexts. So again, the endocrine system releases hormones. So all every time that you guys talk about hormones, hormone, hormones, that's the endocrine system. So hormones regulate the many and varied functions of an organism. The hormones have to bind to receptor sites and receptors are recognition sites in the various target tissues at, on which hormones act. Now the nervous system is totally different than the endocrine system, whereas in the nervous system um, we're rapid, very fast, uh, the neurotransmitters uh, uh, act very fast, but the endocrine system it releases hormones, then it goes in your bloodstream, and then it takes a while for the action to take place at the target tissue. But once it gets there, it, it can st stick around for a while, whereas the nervous system, it can be on, off, on, off. So that's the difference between the nervous system and endocrine system. Nervous system is fast, uh, short-lived. Endocrine takes a little bit longer to get there, but once it's there, it can make a, a long-lived uh, 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 reaction. The endocrine glands, they secrete their hormones directly into the bloodstream, but the exocrine glands, where they send chemical substances such as tear, sweat, milk, and saliva via ducts to the outside of the body. Now the pancreas uh, is an interesting organ because it has an endocrine and an exocrine function. What are the endocrine glands? Well, you've got the thyroid gland, you have the parathyroid glands, the four glands, you have adrenal glands, you have the pancreas, so which has the islets of Langerhans that uh, try to regulate insulin and glucagon. You have the pituitary gland, ovaries one pair, testes one, and the pineal gland. The exocrine glands include the following, the thyroid gland, parathyroid glands, adrenal glands, pancreas, pituitary, ovaries, testes, and pineal gland. Now, endocrine tissue, apart from major gland, location secretion. So body cells, they secrete prostaglandins. Uh, what does that do? Well, they can help contract the uterus, uh, lower acid secretion in the stomach, lower your blood pressure, uh, aggregation of platelets. The GI tract, uh, you have colo cystokin, uh, gastrin secre uh, secretin, which contracts the gallbladder, stimulates gastric secretion. Kidney, or erythropoietin, stimulates erythrocyte or red blood cell production. The placenta has uh, HCP, or human chorionic gonadotropin, sustains your pregnancy. And then skin uh, secretes vitamin D, which affects the absorption of calcium. Uh, again, the anatomical structures of the thyroid gland, you have the thyroid, trachea, thyroid cartilage, and the isthmus. The thyroid cartilage uh, uh, and the laryngeal prominence is where your Adam's apple is. So there's uh, the thyroid gland, there's your trachea, the isthmus, uh, and the thyroid cartilage. And if you look right here, that's your Adam's apple or laryngeal prominence. Uh, there are two hormones, a thyroxine or tetrodithyroine, T4, or triodithyronine, uh, T3. And these thyroid hormones aid cells in their uptake of oxygen and regulate metabolic rate. Uh, calcitonin stimulates calcium to leave the blood and enter the bone. Now the thyroid gland, you have hormones and actions. So the thyroid gland can do T3, increases metabolism. T4 increases metabolism and calcitonin decreases your blood calcium levels. Parathyroid glands are four small oval bodies located in the dorsal aspect, so behind the thyroid gland. So if you look at that, here's the parathyroid glands right in here. Here's the thyroid gland. Here's the epiglottis, the pharynx, esophagus, trachea. 
parathyroid glands produce the parathyroid hormone, which increases blood calcium levels. Parathyroid hormone causes calcium to mobilize from bones into the bloodstream. Adrenal glands are located on top of each kidney, so you have two of those. Each gland consists of two parts. You have the adrenal cortex, which is the outer portion, and the adrenal medulla, which is the inner portion. So there's the adrenal glands. Here's the kidneys. Remember the right kidney sits a little bit lower than the left, so that's why you'll see it represented as a little bit lower. Each gland has two parts of the adrenal gland. The outer portion is the adrenal cortex, secretes corticosteroids or steroids, uh, chemicals derived from cholesterol. The inner portion, adrenal medulla, secretes catecholines, uh, chemicals derived from amino acids. Uh, glucosteroids influence metabolism of sugars, fats, and proteins of cortisol and are anti-inflammatory. Cortisone influences sugar. Mineral corticoids uh, regulate electrolytes. Aldosterone is a reabsorption of sodium, excretion of potassium, influences salt. And then you have the sex hormones, uh, androgens, testosterone, estrogen, estrogens influence secondary sex characteristics. Now, the adrenal medulla secretes two types of catecholamine hormones. You have epinephrine, which is adrenaline. You've heard of that, which would, when your adrenaline increases, uh, your heart rate and blood pressure increases. It dilates your bronchial tubes and releases glucose for energy from storage. Uh, norepinephrine is noradrenaline, constricts your uh, vessels to raise blood pressure. And then both are sympathomimetic agents, so they mimic the sympathetic system, which is your fight or flight system. So your adrenal cortex, again, has corticosteroids, uh, glu glucocorticoid, mineral corticoid, sex hormones. Glucocorticoid is cortisol, it increases your blood glucose. Mineral corticoid, aldosterone, increases salt, sodium reabsorption. And androgen and estrogen are your sexual characteristics. The medulla has epinephrine and norepinephrine, which is your adrenaline and norda, and those are controlled by the sympathetic. Pancreas located near and partially behind the stomach, exocrine and endocrine uh, organ. Endocrine has these islets of Langerhans. They produce insulin, promotes movement of glucose into cells, and promotes storage as glycogen and glucagon promotes movement of glucose into the blood by breaking down glycogen stored in liver cells. So here's the islets. Insulin lowers blood sugar and glucagon raises blood sugar. Okay, so you need a balance. So the pancreas works hard to maintain a steady blood glucose level. So if you did a fasting glu blood glucose and your Fasting gl blood glucose would be 140, 150. That's a little high. We like to keep it under 100. So then there could be uh, issues at the islets of Langerhans in your pancreas. The pituitary gland is a pea-sized gland in depression of the skull in the cella tercica, also called the hypophysis. The anterior lobe, adenohypophysis, posterior lobe, neurohypophysis. The hypothalamus controls secretions of the pituitary via releasing factors. The pituitary gland uh, consists of two distinct parts, the anterior lobe or denohypophysis and the posterior lobe or neurohypophysis. There's the cerebrum, pituitary gland. There's the denohypophysis and the neurohypophysis. Uh, relationship of the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland. Anterior pituitary secretes hormones and the posterior pituitary stores and releases hormones. You have anterior pituitary growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, uh, adrenocorticotropic hormone, gonadotropic horm hormones, FSH and luteinizing hormone, prolactin, PRL. Again, uh, not an anatomy class, so you don't have to memorize all these uh, hormones and what they do. Uh, just uh, Understand the medical terminology associated with that, uh, but nothing as far as the physiology is concerned, how these hormones work, what they influence. Okay, so anterior pituitary again, um, this is just a 
tells you what each one does. Again, I'm not going to ask you, does the growth hormone stimulate hor uh, growth and ADH increases water reabsorption? No, no, that's all for physiology and anatomy. Uh, these are just words that you're uh, trying to understand. What do they mean? What do these words mean? If I say hormone, would you know what a hormone is? Um, that's, that's what medical terminology is all about, recognizing words, definitions, not how anything works. That's anatomy and physiology. Uh, ovaries. If I said the word ovary, you should know where that is. Um, do you need to know that uh, estradiol and progesterone maintain pregnancy? No, that would be anatomy. But you should know that estradiol is part of the ovaries, progesterone is part of the ovaries. So look at the overall big picture. Hey, testosterone is part of the testes. So the male testes hormone is testosterone, maintains germ cell formation, secondary sexual characteristics, uh, ovaries, uh, hormones, estrogen and progesterone, maintains your menstrual cycle, release of the ovin, secondary sexual characteristics, preparation of uterus for pregnancy. All right, so let's look at the vocab. This is where you need to focus, adrenal cortex, adrenal medulla, ovaries, and the pancreas. Well, the adrenal cortex is outer section of each adrenal gland, secretes cortisol, aldosterone, and sex hormones. Adrenal medulla, intersection of each adrenal gland, secretes epinephrine and norepinephrine. Ovaries, located in the lower abdomen of female, responsible for egg production and estrogen and progesterone secretion. Pancreas, located behind the stomach. Parathyroid glands, pituitary gland, testes, and thyroid gland. The parathyroid glands, four small glands at the posterior of the thyroid gland. The pituitary gland, located at the base of the brain in the cella turcica, responsible for hormones. Uh, testes, uh, two glands enclosed in the scrotal sac of the male, responsible for sperm production and testosterone secretion. The thyroid gland, located in the neck on either side of the trachea, secretes thyroxine triodothyronine <laughs> and calcitonin. Adrenaline, epinephrine, adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, aldosterone, and androgen. So adrenaline, epinephrine, secreted by the adrenal medulla, increases the heart rate and blood pressure. Adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, stimulates adrenal cortex. Aldosterone, secreted by the adrenal cortex, increases salt reabsorption. Androgen, male hormone secreted by the testes and adrenal cortex to a lesser extent. ADH, antidiuretic hormone, calcitonin, cortisol, epinephrine, adrenaline. ADH, antidiuretic hormone secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland, increases reabsorption of water by the kidney. Calcitonin, secreted by the thyroid gland, decreases blood calcium levels. Cortisol, secreted by the adrenal cortex, increases blood sugar. So we talk about uh, your stress hormone cortisol. It's, it's a big culprit in weight gain uh, because it increases your blood sugar. Uh, epinephrine, adrenaline, secreted by the adrenal medulla, increases heart rate and blood pressure. Estradiol, estrogen, FSH, which is follicle stimulating hormone, and glucagons. So estradiol is estrogen secreted by the ovaries. Estrogen, female hormone secreted by the ovaries and adrenal cortex to a lesser extent. Follicle stimulating hormone secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland stimulates hormone secretion and egg production by ovaries and sperm production. Glucagons secreted by alpha islet cells of pancreas and that increases blood sugar. So remember, you watch those commercials, Snickers really, really satisfies, like right? a Snickers bar, where if your blood glucose levels uh, go down, then you become cranky and irritable, and then that, and that's a sign of low blood sugar. Uh, growth hormone, uh, somatotropin, insulin, luteinizing hormone. So growth hormone, secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, stimulates growth of bones and soft tissues. Insulin, uh, secreted by beta islet, Cells of pancreas helps glucose pass into cells and promotes conversion of glucose to glycogen. Uh, luteinizing hormone, LH, is secreted by the anterior lobe pituitary gland, stimulates ovulation in females and testosterone secretion in males. Norepinephrine, oxytocin, parathormone, and progesterone. Norepinephrine, secreted by the adrenal medulla, increases heart rate and blood pressure. 
Oxytocin, secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland, stimulates contraction of the uterus during labor and childbirth. Parathormone, uh, secreted by parathyroid hormone glands, increases blood calcium. Progesterone, secreted by the ovaries, prepares the uterus for pregnancy. The vocabulary, we've got some hormones, slide prolactin, somatotropin, testosterone, thyroid stimulating hormone. So prolactin, secreted by the anterior pituitary, anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, promotes milk secretion. Somatotropin, secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, growth hormone. Testosterone, male hormone secreted by the testes, thyroid stimulating hormone, secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, promotes thyroid function. Thyroxine T4, thyroidothyroidine T3, and vasopressin. So thyroxine T4 secreted by the thyroid gland increases your cell metabolism, and thyroidothyroin secreted by the thyroid gland increases cell metabolism. So that's you, you've heard of hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism, and we'll talk about that later in the lecture here. Um, but one is an increase, one is a decrease. So vasopressin secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland, antidiuretic hormone, raises water reabsorption and raises blood pressure.